Hi, how is everybody doing today? Um, this is my um, stamps for week three of the um, Use Your Stamps collab. Um, I had actually um, overlooked and I almost kind of didn't catch myself sharing this video, but because with, you know, Good Friday and Easter and everything coming up, I just completely my brain was mush. So anyhow, um, what I was doing this week it, for my stamping is I I have this greeting farm. Um, I think they're called Sparkle, and I was I had um, stamped some of these images up, and I'm going to cut them up, and I was going to share these uh, in a rack in a random act of kindness after um, the collaboration is over um, for someone who um, doesn't have them to maybe make a project with them or something like that. I printed up, uh, I printed up, I stamped up these three and then I did th the same three for myself. So what I am going to do is I do have some guests coming over. They're actually not coming over on Sunday. They're coming over Saturday. So I was wanting to um, get, show the stamps today and then come back and share one project um, that I've made with them. And I actually did make a project with them, but it, um, it was a, let's see if I can find it on my phone. I made a, what am I thinking? I made a, a memory decks card with, Actually, with one of these girls, actually, it was not with one of these, I but with one of the same uh, Sparkle collection. And let's see if I can show it here in the video. But it's a, uh, and I've already mailed it, so I cannot, I don't have it anymore. But here it is on my phone. It's a card like that where I colored the little girl in, and then I used some of the sentiments from another stamp set I had. Oopsie. Let's see here. Okay, let's see here. What am I doing here? Okay, from an I'm sorry, I apologize. Um, but from another set, um, the stamp, and then I did this little squiggle right here from another set as well. And then I put some bling on it and made a little memory decks card. And then the background is a background stamp that I have that's um do I have it here? Let me see. Because I love that background. I've been wanting it forever. And I think I haven't had it for very long. I just got it um, a couple of days ago. Let me see if I have it here. Is this it? No, of course not. Because when I need something, I probably put it away. I always put away the stuff. Oh, here it is. I was thinking, I always put away the stuff that I want. But I've been wanting this stamp since, I think for about a year or more. And it's like this. And that's what I did the background of this with here. And then I kind of colored it in with some purples to kind of match the, the stamp. But this is a beautiful stamp set, just a swirl like this. And it's um, from Hero Arts. And it's a cling bold prints backgrounds um, stamp and what is it called does it have a name I thought it did but I finally bit the bullet after having it in my um, wish list for it has to be at least over if not a year at least six months or more it has to be a year because it was before I was started planning on moving and does it have a name I'm trying to see if most of our stamps do have names this one is called the Floral Mandala Bold Prints. That's what it's called, Floral Mandala. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Bold Prints. And it's from Hero Arts. And this is the first time that I've used it was in my in my background for um, my, um, let me see if I can get it without blurring, in my background there. So I thought it was pretty neat that I was able to use it there and then colored the little sparkle girl in. But that is the only project that I've done with um, one of these sparkle um, greeting farms stamps and 
I've had it for quite a while and I love them. I love them, love them. And I might have used some other stamps that I have that are greeting farms for other things. But these are, this is the first time that I use these particular ones. So anyhow, if I get a chance, I'm going to come back. My guest, um, after my guests leave, I will come back and share uh, just a little project, whether it's a tag or a card or something. And if I don't come back and share, then um, I'll share the, the um, project in week four of the collab, which is next week. But with the holidays this weekend, um, things have kind of turned topsy-turvy on me. So, um, yeah, Sandy's going to be um, quite busy with guests and whatnot. So, anyhow, this is my project or my stamps that I stamped out for um, the uh, Use Your Stamps collab week three. And it's supposed to go for four weeks, so next week will be the last week. And again, if I haven't shared the project for week three this weekend, I will share it with uh, week four. But it was with these Greeting Farm uh, stamp gals. So anyhow, that is all that I have today. Um, if you have any questions, whether it's on this background stamp or on these um, Greeting Farm gals, these are red rubber stamps, kind of like similar to this. And they come in a big, big sheet, all... Um, and a big rubber rubber sheet and then there are all the stamps around there. and then you got to use actually scissors to cut around the images and then you'll have your stamps that way but they're I think they call them untrimmed so they come untrimmed and you have to trim them yourself which when I first got their first set it was kind of odd for me because I was afraid I would ruin the stamps by trimming it myself but after I did you know after I had one set and trimmed it and everything worked out Subsequent sets have been um, easy to um, trim, and I have none. I have no fear of them anymore, and I just trim them and and, and use them. So anyhow, um, I'll be back next week with uh, Use Your Stamps collab week four. This is today's video is for week three. You all have a great weekend, and if you uh, celebrate the holiday, uh, may you have a good um, holiday weekend and enjoy time with family or friends or in whichever way that you, um, your family chooses to celebrate uh, this holiday weekend. You all have a good day. Bye now.